Hello, hello guys. I hope you guys are having a nice Monday. My finance teacher here. Uh, Mondays are not always nice. So uh, let's have a look at gold and see if we see some uh, good news over here. And I think we do. Finally, this um, longest in decades intermediate cycle has finished. It took place between middle of December last year and middle of August last summer. Looks like gold is on an uptrend at the moment. Looks like we've seen one daily cycle between the middle of August and the end of September. That would give us about a month and a half. These daily cycles last anywhere between a month and a half to two and a half months. So that could be one of the daily cycles we have seen. If the price doesn't break below 1180. And I don't think it is going to break below 1180 over the next several weeks anyway. Uh, however, I don't see much further movement short term in the gold price either because gold is um, very close to some resistance levels at the moment i think the, res the resistance level is somewhere around 1240 and uh, what we see here is the 100 day moving average just under 1240 and the previous low that we saw in the middle of december is also just around 1240 plus this uh, 1240 has been uh, sort of tested a few times in the middle of summer in the second half of summer so what do i think is going to happen to gold in the very short term over the next couple of weeks gold might uh, gradually move upwards into that resistance zone it might break slightly above 1240 for a short while and then it will be time for the declining phase of the short 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 daily cycle although in the medium term we will still be in the advancing phase of the intermediate cycle so after a decline sometime into November, I guess, I expect another nice rally in gold. All in all, I think within the advancing phase of the current new intermediate cycle, I expect at least 1300, probably 1310 on the gold chart because 1310 as we've mentioned many times in the previous videos, has been an important support and resistance zone. So I think in this advancing phase, gold might at least retest the 1310 level. So that's my short term view going out a couple of months. Now let's have a look at the weekly chart of gold and my medium term view. Well, again, we see this intermediate cycle has finally finished. It's been the longest one in uh, quite a while and uh, the declining phase of that last intermediate cycle has also been one of the longest ones we see another one um, here just after the elections in um, 2016 at that time as well we saw a very long and quite painful decline in gold price falling all the way from around 1375 all the way down to close to 1130 or so and the uh, RSI, weekly RSI, 14 week RSI at that time just touched the oversold levels. Whereas at um, the last decline in the middle of August, 14 week RSI has actually been um, deeper into the oversold levels than it was in December 2016. So gold was stretched further down even compared to the decline of the late 2016. So with this quite oversold levels on gold price on the weekly chart, what I expect in the medium term is a nice bounce up as well to give, um, give a chance to this oscillator, the RSI, to uh, come closer to overbought levels. For example, if we look at what happened in early 2017 after the 14-week RSI was just tangent to the over, oversold levels, we see that uh, gold has rallied for for three of three or four months into the top of that intermediate cycle which lasted between the middle of december last year i think and uh, july end of june early july last year so i think something similar might happen this time we might see an advancing phase lasting for three four months and counting from the middle of August, that might give us a top in this intermediate cycle somewhere well close to the end of this year, 
maybe early next year. And as I said, in the very short term, I, I expect some pullback from gold price after we peak slightly above 1240, we are currently only at 1225. Then I expect the next daily cycle in gold to bring us closer to 1300. And of course, we might see a declining phase of that short term daily cycle. Well, probably coming down to 1260, 1240, who knows. And then going further into the medium term, one of the later daily cycles in this intermediate cycle in gold is the more interesting one. Are we going to come close again to the highs of the last few years at about 1370? Or is gold going to break down, give us a top only at about 1300 and start moving into the declining phase of that intermediate cycle? In either case, I think by, um, by March next year, we will already be in the declining phase of that intermediate cycle. But of course, this is a medium term forecast. It's hard to say what's going to happen two, three, four, five months in advance. So we'll have to revisit this forecast in the future. And here is one of the reasons why I think this um, advancing phase of the current intermediate cycle might actually go further than uh, anyone expects. It uh, might actually go beyond 1310 and uh, maybe significantly beyond 1310. This is uh, the COT reports, Commitment of Traders reports. And what we see here is um, the commercials, usually referred to as the smart money, the dark red columns on this chart are net long and um, the net long position of the commercials is at historically highest levels so if uh, those who are generally called the smart money are net long at the moment then uh, that might mean that gold is um, more likely to um, move to the upside and uh, the dumb money the speculators the large speculators are these uh, blue lines blue bars blue columns and the small speculators are these uh, white or yellowish sort of small columns speculators in total large and small speculators together are net short although small speculators are net long net short positions of large speculators are bigger than the net long positions of the small speculators so in total the speculators are net short and those are usually referred to the speculators are usually referred to as the dumb money for example Let's have a look at this bar. Yes, the large speculators plus the small speculators together, that would be close to a record high in uh, net long positions for speculators. Let's see what was happening to the gold price itself at that time. When that, that would be end of March, early April. After that, we, we don't see any significant up movement in gold price. Actually, what happened just after that is a significant decline. Let's, let's just have a look at another example. Over here, small blue bar with a small sort of a yellowish bar. So the long position for speculators around this time is close to the minimum that we saw over the last couple of years, with exception of what's happening at the moment. And that would be, well, that would be middle of December last year. What was happening to the price in the middle of December last year? It was at the bottom. The speculators long position was at the minimum exactly at the time when their long positions should have been bigger than usual so that is why usually the speculators whether large or small are usually referred to as dumb money and that dumb money at the moment is net short and that is also something historical they're not usually net short so that's just another reason why i think gold is likely to do well over the next couple of months several months and the last thing i want to have a look at is gdx what do i see on the gdx chart this is a daily gdx chart i see a reverse head and shoulders pattern the height of the neckline is slightly over two dollars so so um, from the neckline the price at that time was around i would say say 19 and a half plus over two dollars would give us well say 21 and a half at least 
So the minimum price target for GDX over the next relatively short term, I think is 12 and 21 and a half, which is not that significant. But as I mentioned, because of the COT reports, I, I do hope for higher prices, but uh, hope is not uh, what determines our trading. That's uh, my actual target over the next relatively short term, say somewhere between 21 and 22. Although, as I mentioned, in the very short term, into early November, I expect some sort of a decline in gold price and in GDX as they bump into the resistance. On uh, GDX, we see resistance at about $21. So over the next week or two, both GDX and gold price might rise into their respective resistance levels then turn back down into the short-term daily cycle lows and then continue the upward momentum with a minimum target in GDX at about 21.5. That would be welcome because as I mentioned in the past, my uh, personal position at GDX unfortunately is uh, at, at about 20.4. So I'm still 4% or so underwater. That was because um, I didn't expect an intermediate cycle in gold to last as long as it did. So do you want to see, to see 1310 or 1370 on the gold chart? Whichever you want to see, hit the like under the video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments and um, have a nice day.